Okay, today is August 7th, Sunday, and we are going to be doing a test drive of a 1979 Buick Regal. So we're going to go ahead and start it. Okay, um, usually a good idea to give it a little bit of gas to get the engine warmed up. Occasionally what might happen if you don't is it may want to stall on you, but as long as you give it gas for about 15 seconds or so, uh, we should be good. All right, so we're gonna back out of the driveway. So we are now exiting our neighborhood and we're basically going to uh, get on the road, get on the freeway, and that should take care of the test drive portion of this video. This is the 301 V8. I forget exact, um, I believe it's a 150 horsepower engine if I'm not mistaken, um, but I'm not 100% certain. I'll actually uh, double check that when I uh, post this vehicle for sale. And as uh, we're waiting for this gate, um, radio works, the speakers probably need to be replaced. Um, the car is wired for um, a sound system. Um, I have not tested that sound system. I don't know if the speaker wires work, but they are there. All right, and now... I don't know if the video is capturing the speedometer or not, but we are... Accelerating. Okay, we're coming up to a red light here. Um, I do have the AC running uh, right now. The AC works, um, it blows cold. Um, occasionally when uh, you're accelerating really fast, um, you can kind of feel the AC not blow as cold for that brief period of time while you're accelerating. Uh, but otherwise, um, it works and it, uh, it's good enough to uh, survive in our 110 degree summer weather. freeway. If there's uh, any kind of uh, shaking or vibrating in the video, it's more to do with the fact that I'm just holding my phone by hand as I'm videotaping this. We're going about 55 miles per hour right now. One thing that does occasionally happen is the fuel gauge works on and off, uh, but sometimes uh, it goes... Uh, past the full line and then, um, then it will uh, switch back to displaying correctly. So the fuel gauge I would say is intermittent, um, but you do know your fuel level because it goes back and forth between showing this full and uh, showing the proper level. All right, so now we are getting onto the freeway. through uh, 
two exits. Um, at this point, we're going uh, 55 miles per hour. Uh, the tires have been balanced uh, and rotated. The um, uh, the alignment has been done. The car drives straight. If you can see my steering wheel as I drive here. Uh, we're currently going 65 miles per hour. And uh, now we're going to get into the fast lane and uh, show you that the car can do 75 miles per hour, which is what we're uh, at right now, roughly. And now we're going a little bit faster than 75 miles per hour. Uh, this car has an 85 mile speedometer, so uh, we're pretty much almost going top speed. get off the freeway here. Still going over 75 miles per hour. And that will end up uh, concluding our video um, in a moment here as we uh, get off the freeway. to a stop sign here. The car does ride, um, the car does ride very smoothly. Um, it's uh, got very easy steering. And uh, the rest of the videos will uh, do an exterior walkthrough and an interior walkthrough. And I'm just gonna quickly pull over right here. We got this little Pioneer Village Museum here, which I've never actually been to. It looks interesting. And we're just gonna do one quick walk around of the car to show you that it is indeed this car that I am driving around. And I guess we'll do one more part of this video here. So I'm gonna pop the hood. Um, popping the hood can sometimes be tricky in that it doesn't always pop out like it's supposed to. Um, but it's usually a two attempt kind of thing. And we're just gonna try this again. Usually by the second time it will pop out. Not by the second time. So yeah, um, one of the parts uh, that's a bit of an issue is the way that this hood pops. I had my mechanic adjust it. Um, it was working perfectly and then stopped popping again. Yeah, it doesn't seem to want to come out. So we will pause this video for a sec while I get it open. Okay. Third attempt was actually the charm and just required more careful pushing. So here is the engine bay. Um, a lot of uh, new components, mechanics just went through all the vacuum hoses um, per uh, the Buick schematic diagram. So everything is hooked up correctly. 
Um, new valve cover gaskets, new intake manifold gasket, new alternator, new EGR valve, new component right here. Um, I forget what that was called, that'll be mentioned in the ad. Alright, and that'll conclude this uh, video.